Hi guys, this is John here. Today I'll be starting with session one of our exciting course on artificial intelligence. And in session one, we will look at the introduction to AI. And as part of this session, we will look at what is artificial intelligence or AI. We will look at where is AI used and we will look at some examples of AI. We will also look at how humans learn and we will look at a quick assignment. So I hope you guys are excited to get started with this session, which is our first session for our online course on AI. So let's get started. So the first and most fundamental question that we would want to ask is what is artificial intelligence, right? So the basic question is, can we make a machine think like a human? So we've got a machine. Can we make it think like a human? That is the fundamental goal of artificial intelligence. That's what we want to do. Second, can we make a machine learn and solve problems? So as part of our entire course, we will be trying to make the machine learn as well as solve problems, how humans do. So we have to try and look at it from a perspective, can a machine think like a human. And since the machine is artificial, it is not natural like a human being. And we are trying to make it intelligent. Hence, the field is called artificial intelligence. So now, let us not get stuck with definitions. And let us try and understand applications. And once we understand applications, we'll be able to understand how machines think like humans. So let's look at some examples. So first, so you must have seen a news channel and there they give you a weather forecast where they predict the weather for the next seven days. So the question is, how do they do that? Well, a simple answer is the prediction is done by a machine where the machine takes the historical data. When I say historical data, it learns the weather over the past few years. And based on that, it tries to predict the weather for the next few days. And this is done by a machine. So this is one example. Another very exciting example is, have you heard of Siri on an iPhone or when you say, okay, Google, have you heard of these guys, Siri and okay, Google, what are they? They are virtual personal assistants. Now, what do you mean virtual personal assistant? So now let us see a fun example where if I want to book an Uber cab on my phone using AI or artificial intelligence, let's go ahead and see how I can do that. For example, if I want to start my phone and book an Uber, a cab for myself using AI, let's go ahead and see on the phone how I can do it. So I'm going to call out to my phone using the AI assistant. Okay, Google, can you book me an Uber from Santa Cruz? to Mumbai International Airport. Opening Uber. So now, as you saw, Google recognized my voice. And then I asked Google if I could book an Uber from Santa Cruz to Mumbai International Airport. Google automatically understood and was able to open the Uber app and tell Uber my source and my destination and also tell me the approximate cost. Now, Ubers are not available at this moment. That's why Uber is telling me it's temporarily unavailable. So if you see the fun part, I'm able to just speak to my phone and through artificial intelligence, the phone and the Google platform is able to understand and make life easy for me. So this is what we call as virtual personal assistant. So Google was my personal assistant when I asked Google to book me a cab. Another very interesting application is a chatbot. A chatbot is basically a machine sitting at the other end 
and chatting with us. But for us, we feel that it's another human on the other side. So let us look at a real life example of a chat bot. So I am on the website of HDFC Bank and they have a chat bot here called Ask Ava. They have a chat bot whose name is Ava. So let's go ahead and see if we can chat with Ava. So here, Ava is asking me, how can I help you today? So I'll say, I want to open an account. So she's automatically giving me options. So let's say, I say, I want to open an account. So she asks me, do you want to apply for an account? Do you want to apply for a salary account? So if I say salary account, let's see what she gives me. She gives me a few more options. So if you see, I am chatting with a bot here named Ava and based on my options here, she's giving me recommendations. So Ava is also being implemented using AI or artificial intelligence. So AI is also used for virtual chat assistants called chatbots. Let's look at another example for AI. If you look at a shopping website like Amazon or Flipkart, both these websites gives, give you product recommendations or things you might also like. So next time that you shop on Amazon or Flipkart, if you're buying something, they give you a recommendation saying recommended for you. And these recommendations are based on your choices and that is done using an artificial intelligent computer who is able to predict what you will like based on what somebody else will like. So next time, when you go ahead and shop on Amazon, check for recommended for you or you might like this or people might want to see this. So that is also the result of AI. Another very interesting example of AI is face recognition. And this we will do a little bit as part of our course. As you see, a lot of the phones today have a feature of face unlock. So basically, the phone looks at your face and unlocks the phone. This is because of an AI or artificial intelligence software that is running on your phone and it is able to recognize your face and unlock the phone. So this is another cool example of AI. So the first example that we saw was weather prediction. The second cool example we saw was virtual assistants. That was OK Google. The third cool example we saw was a chatbot, which was the HDFC Ava. The fourth example was product recommendations on shopping websites. And the fifth example that we saw was face recognition. There are many more examples of AI that we see in our day-to-day -day life. So I hope you understand what AI is. Essentially, AI is any situation where a machine starts thinking like a human. So in the first case, where the machine was predicting the weather, it's how a human would predict the weather. The second situation was where the phone was helping me book an Uber, which I as a human could have done that. The third situation was I was chatting with a machine, which in normal cases, a human is sitting on the other side and chatting and solving my issues. The fourth example was product recommendation. So when you go to a shopping mall, you have somebody at the mall saying, you might want to try this. You might want to try the other product here. A machine is doing that for you. And fifth, here, your phone is recognizing your face and helping you unlock the phone. So it's trying to think like a human and recognize your face. So essentially, whenever a machine starts acting like a human or has the intelligence of a human, we call it artificial intelligence. So these were some basic examples of AI that I hope we have clearly understood as part of this session. As part of the next lecture in session one, we will look at how humans learn and we will look at an example. And based on that, we will build the foundation of how machines learn, which I will cover in the future sessions. So I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.